we are doing our ELA spiral review for Tuesday, April 28th, day two. We need to write the missing letters for the long O sound. Yesterday, we talked about all these patterns to make the long O sound. Just O by itself, O with a silent E, O-E, O-W, O-A, and it could also be spelled E-W, O-U-G-H, O-H, and O-L. Okay, for rainbow, it is spelled with an O-W. We have an apple in the person's hand. It's right in front of them. So we're going to say this. We need to write the comparative adjective. Comparing means you were saying if it's more than or less than somebody else next to you. So Mr. Pike was lonelier than ever before. Okay, in the next one we have homophones. I said that yesterday. A homophone is a word that sounds the same, but it's spelled different and it means different things. So when eight is spelled E-I-G-H-T, it means the number. And when it's spelled A-T-E, it means to put food in your mouth. Oh, I'm not supposed to circle the picture. I'm supposed to circle the word. <laughs> okay, there we go. Write the missing adverb. Underline the verb it describes. So an adverb describes the verb. So my mom's phone rings blank when she is working. Which is the verb in this sentence? Rings is the verb. So we're going to underline that. We need a word to describe how her phone is ringing. You could have put any kind of verb here, I mean adverb here. How is her phone ringing? Is it ringing loudly, often, quietly? Um, trying to think of some other ones. Well, I'm just gonna put here often. Because if she's working, maybe she gets calls a lot. So this is describing how much often. Okay, I will see your work on Friday.